Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Super uh, Game Boy. And this is the analog pocket. I have uh, one is running the original Game Boy and one is running uh, Super Game Boy. And as you can see, the, the Game Boy is, is bigger, but it doesn't have any color. So if you was to play this game, press start, this is what it looked like. Now it is much better than than uh, than the regular Game Boy because it has some little bit of a green color to it. Okay, so this is the the game, and this is what it looked like. Okay, now this is a Super Game Boy, which. Uh, they plug this in Super Nintendo and then you could put your cartridge into a Super Nintendo uh, game and it now have color which is pretty cool let me get out of this game there's too much uh, going on okay quit okay so we're gonna start this game and let you see the differences and it have a bezel around it so the screen size it's roughly uh, the size of that. So to do this, uh, let me show you another game, which is it's the the handheld Game Boy. We're gonna run Game Boy, and we're gonna try uh, the one is Bunk. So we're gonna not I mean Donkey Kong. Now this is a Donkey Kong uh, re revision A. Okay, so all the revision. Uh, they have some extra color to it, so it looks pretty cool. And then we're going to try it with uh, so this is a, a normal and this is what it looked like uh, with a Game Boy. Uh, you could use the cartridge or you could use a digital copy. Yay, already saved the girl already. See that? Okay, and you could also save the game by pressing the up and save game. And now we're going to uh, quit. Okay, now we're going to try the same game and we're going to go to the super game so we're going to go to uh, console and we're going to go to super game now there's a two because i created the second one so if you go to change court you got the super game boy and super game boy 2. now this is a version 1.16 that i that i have found this is a original 1.03 now I'll give you the video, the person that, that talk about how he did it, and I'll give you the link because, because of his video, I was able to come up with this, okay? So we're going to go ahead and click on this one, and we're going to go ahead and run. Now what I did is I create a folder for, for each uh, uh, region, and I put one in front of the cartridges because so the folder will be on the top. Because if you have a cartridge that you want to play Game Boy, you want it to run this one. And when you run it, 
is going to look for the cottage. Now, if you don't have a cottage in the back, it will say it can't find it. You need a cottage. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and press confirm, quit, and quit that game. Okay. So you need to have a cottage to run that uh, the Super Game Boy. Now, we are going to run Super Game Boy in digital. So we're going to run it. We can go back and we're going to have Europe, Hack Game, Homebrews, Japan, Pattern, and Protocol. Revision is the best one to, to go about because all the game is enhanced. So they have a little bit more better color. Now I want to show you the difference between the one we just play and the one we are going to play, which is called uh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong events in hands. All right. I believe this is the same game that we just played. So it's the same game, and this is a uh, Super Game Boy Two. So you got Super Game Boy One and Super Game Boy Two. The only difference is the battle. The the basil is different. This one is more of a arcade looking basil. So we will see the difference between uh, this basil and the other basil once we exit our game. Okay, so I'm gonna press star, press A, and look how beautiful this is. So I got this figured out. So I will share that with you guys. And you just have to do is, uh, the file is not that big at all. It's pretty small. All right, so now you have a basil and everything is in color. Ah, uh, I jumped too soon. All right, you get the point. So we're gonna go ahead and quit. I wonder if I could load no, I didn't have a save, so I'm going to quit. All right, so we're going to open it up again. And this time, we are going to use the different one. Change court, and we are going to use Super Game Boy 1. And we're going to run the same game. We're going to look for Donkey Kong. Okay, Donkey Kong Japan version. But it's an enhanced one. Now there's a folder called Re Revision. So it's Super Game Boy. And let's see what the basil look like here. Oh, it looks the same. The basil look the same. Alright, let's go ahead and Start again. <clears throat> now I think the revision two is is made, in, well they both make in Japan, but one is it never came out to U.S. so it was only in Japan, and the uh, revision one is in USA. So the Game Boy now is make it very fun to play with because everything is in color, which I thought that was so cool. All right, so uh, let's go back to it one more time. And I prefer to use the, the one, the second one, because that's the latest version. And so we're gonna go back to the top. So just press back and so this is the revision I was talking about this one have all the enhanced game and so if you want to play all the enhanced game this is the place you want to go okay and everything is look very beautiful and everything so so I got this figured out 
Now, I want to show you the Ninja Turtle one. I did kind of figure it out, but I think it's because uh, you have to uh, sign up with them. And I think it's called the pay patron. And you have to pay like a monthly payment per month to get it. Or those of you who know how, please let me know. So I go to, let's get out of the game first. And let's go to RK multiplayer. Oop, compatible, okay. So we got the Simpson working. The set is, is out there. But I'm trying to get the Ninja Turtle to work, okay. Now Ninja Turtle have have couple games. They have Ninja Turtle Hero. I couldn't get that to work, but because there was no M M R A, okay. But there is this one and this one, and I got those all working. But the problem I'm having is, I'll show you. I think you need a key called beta dot bin because the controller is not set up the the boot up ROM it does let you pick it does let you run it but the problem is you cannot press anything here if you press it it doesn't work I mean if you look at the game in the background it's playing I mean I got it I follow the, my own step how to do the Simpson and I did exactly the same and it, and it it started working but the problem is they are showing you the credit who made it blah 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 and so on and so on and yes they do deserve the, the credit but pay monthly for patron like how much they say $20 per month I think and then you have to pay if you want to do one year, it's like $228 or something like that. I might be wrong about the total amount, but it's, it's around 200 something. So that's like, wow. But but then when I look at the information, it say that this was a beta version and they couldn't get some of the stuff to work. So there's no MR, MRA was released. Because there's, there's a whole bunch of game here that, that was part of the Ninja Turtles uh, setup. It's like the Simpsons. Simpson. Simpson. The Simpson. Simpson. Son. Simpson. That one, it only have that game. But this one have like uh, three different game and also different uh, set. But the problem is, uh, let me run the other one. So we had this one as well. And this one as well. And they do run, but there is a missing file. So those of you who, who know where the beta.bin file, if you want to share that, that'll be great. But uh, yeah, the game is there. But so somebody asked me, Johnny, can you, do you, able to get this game to work and I say well let me search for it so I'll give you the link with all this thing that I found every single MRA plus all the JSON file and plus uh, yeah all the J and then the plus the tool uh, where you get all those I did a I did did a video but it's a one hour video and this is the result I got. So I it wasn't successful, so I decided not to put out that video because plus it's one hour long and the game do not work. So I decided just to show you the result instead of showing you how, where I got it, how I do it, blah, 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 and step by step because it just don't play. It just won't play, all right? And the last one that I did also got it running it was this one miss miss missing in action and also no but the problem is uh it's only showing this 
and it won't let you play the game in the back because you need the beta I think you need the file called beta.bit because in the JSON file it looking for that file but if you remove that file it still will load but this thing won't go away so if you have that beta file then this might allow you to press star and select see but the star and select do not work here all right that's enough of that video uh i will put on the description uh everything you need and plus the the super super game boy that to me was very exciting because i was very confused about super game boy because i was like hmm super game boy is supposed to be adapt a converter that you play on super nintendo but why would they put this here I didn't quite understand and then I started to like well everything here is converted to digital so why or can I play the super graphic and yes you can you just have to copy your Game Boy into the SB super GB so it's SGB folder and into the folder call uh, so let's go into the console again go to the bottom so if you was to run this game and let's go back out you wanna create you wanna copy your game into a folder call common then inside the common you could uh, create a subfolder and sort them out or you can sort them by alphabet like a to a b c or whatever how you want to do it and uh, the way i have it is like this or you could have it at the bottom so the most popular game is at the bottom okay and then you could just play any of the game right here so that's how i did it and so hopefully uh, you guys will like it and so that's that's how I figured it out. It took me a while, but it wasn't hard. I'll I'll give you the video who give you the credit of the person who showed me how to do it, and uh, he was the one that 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 made me understand how this thing work. Okay. All right. Later.